In the previous video, we discussed about the cell junctions and its types. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about anchoring junctions in detail. Let's illustrate these junctions by drawing two cells. And these two cells are surrounded by an extracellular matrix as shown in the figure. And this green color structure shown here that's present on the surface of cells is the linker protein of anchoring junction. It's also called a transmembrane addition protein or transmembrane linker. Two linkers join together outside of the cell and bridge the two cells. And looking at the inside of cells, we have another protein shown in blue color that's called anchor protein, whose function is to link the cytoskeletal filaments with the linker proteins. Another junction shown here is the cell to matrix junction, like hemidesmosomes. Now let's see how cytoskeletal filaments are linked together. We see here the cytoskeletal filaments links with the anchor protein, which eventually links it to the transmembrane linker. So in this way, cytoskeletal filaments are linked with the transmembrane linker proteins. This whole structure of complex proteins is the anchoring junction that bridges the two cells or bridges the cell with the matrix. In the structure of anchoring junction, we saw three important proteins. One is transmembrane addition protein that's also called transmembrane linker. Another one is intracellular anchor protein third one is cytoskeleton filaments and we see two types of junction occurs one is cell to cell junction the other being the cell to matrix junction in the cell to cell junction we have adherins and desmosomes while as in the cell to matrix junction we have actin linked matrix junction and hemidesmosomes now let's see one by one which protein is present in these four junctions first let's explain the adherins in the adherinase, the transmembrane addition or linker protein is the cadhernase. The intracellular anchor proteins are alpha catenin protein, beta catenin protein, vinculin protein, and plicoglobin protein. And finally, the cytoskeleton filaments in adherin junction is actin filaments. Now, talking about desmosomes, what makes it different from adherinase? First, the transmembrane addition or linker protein is the cadhernase. That is the same as in adherinase but anchor protein differs here. We see it has got plicoglobin and plicophyllin protein. And also the cytoskeleton filaments are intermediate filaments here in desmosomes. Now getting to cell to matrix junction, where we have actin matrix linked junction first. It has got integrin as transmembrane linker protein. The anchor proteins are talin, vinculin and FAK, that's focal addition kinase. And finally, the cytoskeleton filaments are actin filaments here. Now we see hemidesmosomes, whose transmembrane proteins are also integrin proteins, while as anchor protein is plectin. And the cytoskeleton filaments are intermediate filaments, as in case of desmosomes. So these are the different proteins, different cytoskeleton filaments that exist between these junctions. Now we will briefly discuss the adherinase. We know the transmembrane linker for adherinase is cadherin protein and it is this cadherin molecule which bridges the two cells by a junction. And this cadherin junction is found to be present in epithelial and endothelial cells. And it should not be confused with fascia adherinase, which also is a cell to cell junction, but this is a junction of non epithelial and non endothelial cells. So it is not an adherinase junction. The transmembrane linker in adherinal molecule is the cadherin protein and it's further classified into three classes. Classical cadherinase, desmosomal cadherinase and protocadherinase. And it is this classical cadherin molecule which is present in adherinase. One is e cadherin, also called epithelial cadherin because it is present in epithelial tissue. Then there are n cadherinase which are present in neurons. Then we have p cadherinase which is placental cadherin. And finally, there are cadherin 12 molecules found to be in brain. And E cadherin is also called CDH1, N cadherin is also called CDH2, P is also called CDH3, and cadherin 12 is obviously called as CDH12 molecule. So these are the different types of molecules present in adherinase. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.